such perceptual expansion that all my mental models and frameworks gave away and I was in a state of just making room for this new world. What's up guys, this is Jason Silva and this is a story about the time that I combined high dose cannabis and free diving. Now most people these days don't think of cannabis as a psychedelic compound because it's become so normalized. But in fact, cannabis has a history, a thousand year history as a profoundly mind altering and very much psychedelic compound. And so having given you that context, now I'd like to tell you a story. I enrolled in a free diving course because I wanted to learn to manage my anxiety. Anxiety has been something that I've profoundly struggled with throughout my life. Free diving teaches you through controlled breath holding how to repattern your nervous system and control your physiological response to fear and or anxiety. I took the course and I started getting really comfortable down there and then I decided with the blessing of the free diving instructor to combine the breath holding free diving session with cannabis. I partook <laughs> the cannabis. I think we were using one of those super slick vape pens. I felt the passing of time fade away. I found the, the, the intensity of the moment take on a, a heightened and qualitative intensity and the feelings of euphoria came on really strong and eventually went for the deep breath and dove into this crystalline waters of this cenote, this, this radiating turquoise holy water. I felt like I was being baptized. Suffice to say, I was in it and there was no space in my mind for anything else. The larger contextual reality of who I was, of my identity, of the fact that I was in Mexico and I had just smoked some pot and I had just dove into the water, all of that was completely and utterly dissolved. I felt like I was a, 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 an astronaut, like marveling at another world. There was just a feeling of overwhelming awe, a feeling of such perceptual expansion that all my mental models and frameworks gave away and I was in a state of just making room for this new world. I remember I was hovering over this boulder. It had these like, um, these algae that was growing on it, I remember. And the, 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 the patterns of the growth of the algae looked like skyscrapers. It looked like a kind of extraterrestrial version of the Dubai skyline, but with emerald green. And the sunbeams were shining through the water and shining through the algae. And so it just gave the whole thing this like blistering and radiating shine. And it was just an appreciation of the worlds within worlds that exist alongside our own, but that we are normally too blind to notice. So I continued to hover around and then of course a, a school of fish swam by. And now I was looking at life itself. I was trying to see if it was possible to, to meet uh, the fish's gaze and have an actual moment of connection or communion. And in that moment, there was just this freeze frame quality where I just saw the pulsating eyes of this luminous being, which of course leads to the question of why would I do this? What was I looking for? And aside from the obvious hilarity of imagining me stoned out of my mind under these crystalline waters is that I was having something akin to a religious experience to be privy to a moment of such grace is to be touched by the grace of God, right? The, the, the world goes from black and white to color. You know, a universe of possibility is revealed, gray infused by color. And so that was my encounter, my experience, and it was revivifying. And, and granted, I've been ranting and raving and riffing for the last several minutes, but all of these scaffoldings, all of these protocols, all of these procedures, all of these actions that I took to get past myself, to get out of myself, to enter a state of ecstasis, to be beyond oneself. Again, when you get past yourself, when you forget yourself, you see everything else. And friends, there is a lot to see. Tales from the...